today we will discuss a question from transportation engineering and the question is a great question and it is asked from a topic known as overtaking side resistance. This question was asked in gate 1998, right? So let us discuss this question. So the question says, for a highway with design speed of 100 km per hour, the safe overtaking side distance is dash, assuming acceleration equal to 0.53 meter per second square, right? So he is asking us what is the overtaking side distance and the data which he is giving us is, he says V equal to 100 kilometers per hour, right? So he is giving us the design speed. When he gives the design speed and if he does not mention anything except for design speed, what we do is we calculate VB. Now VB is what? You know that VB is the speed of overtake in the vehicle and if it is not mentioned in the equation, we take this value to be as 100 minus 16 which is equal to 84 kilometers per hour. So now we have two things. One is the design speed of the road, 30 km per hour, and second one is VB, that is speed of the overtaken vehicle equal to 84 km per hour. Let us convert these two into meters per second. If I convert these two, this becomes 27.77 meters per second, and this value becomes 23.3 meters per second. Right. Now what he is saying is he is giving us acceleration value that is A equal to 0.53 meter per second square and he is asking us to calculate the value of overtaking side distance. We know that overtaking side distance OSD it is equal to D1 plus D2 plus D3 where D1, D1 it is equal to VB into T d2 it is equal to v plus 2s and d3 it is equal to capital V into capital T. Right, where the terminologies are vb is the speed of overtaken vehicle, t small t is the reaction time of the driver which is taken as 2 seconds in the case of overtaking side distance. Then v, v is B is the distance travelled by the overtaken vehicle during the overtaking operations, right? S, S is the spacing between the two vehicles. That means you have to maintain a minimum spacing between the vehicles after, before and after the overtaking operations. So S is the minimum spacing. Capital T, capital T is the duration of overtaking. That means the time for which overtaking operations takes place that is capital T and capital V is the design speed of the road. Right. So let us calculate all these. Let us calculate all these values. So D1, we say D1 equal to VB into T. D1 equal to VB, VB is 23.3 into T is 2 seconds. The reaction time for overtaking side distance is 2 seconds. So this value equal to 46.6 meters. Then we have to calculate D2. D2 is B plus 2S. Now let us calculate the value of S. So we know S has some relation, empirical relations. It is 0.7 VB plus 6. So S equal to 0 0.7 into VB value is 23.3 plus 6. So S value comes out to be 22.3 meters. This is S, B, B is, B is, it is the distance travelled by the overtaken vehicle during the overtaking operations. That means the speed of the overtaken vehicle is VB and overtaking duration is capital T. So B is given as VB into capital T. But we don't have capital T. So what we do is, first we will calculate the value of capital T. This T, it is equal to and the root of 4s divided by a. It is 4s divided by a. We have the value of s, we have the value of acceleration. Substituting over here, we get the value of t. So t equal to root of 4 into 22.3 divided by 0.53. So this value comes out to be equal to 
12.9 seconds. 12.9 seconds. Now we have the overtaking duration. So V will be equal to V is 23.3 VV is 23.3 into this is 12.9. So V value comes out to be 3 value comes out to be 301 meters. Right. Now, we have V, we have S. We can calculate the value of D2. So, D2 will be equal to V plus 2S. So, V is 301 plus 2 into 22.3. So, this value will be roughly equal to around 345 meters. So our D2 comes out to be equal to 345 meters. Now, the final value D3. D3 equal to capital V into capital T. D3 is capital V into capital T. So capital V is 27.7 into capital T. Capital T is 12.9 seconds. So this value D3 will be equal to 358 meters 358 meters now we have all the three values we have d1 we have d2 and we have d3 so overtaking side distance osd will be equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 so 46.6 plus 345 plus 358 this value will be roughly around 750 meters. So the overtaking side distance comes out to be equal to 750 meters. And D1, D2 and D3, there are some, uh, D1 is, we say that D1 value, D1 value is, it is the distance traveled by the overtaking vehicle during the reaction time of the driver, that is D1. Second, D2 is the, it is the distance travelled by the overtaking vehicle during the overtaking operation capital T. So that is D2. And finally D3 is, D3 is the distance travelled by the oncoming vehicle during the overtaking operation that is capital D. So D1, D2, D3 have their respective meanings. And the summation of D1, D2 and D3 gives us the overtaking side distance. So in this particular case, the overtaking side distance comes out to be equal to 750 meters. So eight question asked in 1998 from this particular topic. Thank you. 